ओके वेल अगो आई हैव लॉन्च अ वीडियो अबाउट एम टेक एवरीथिंग अबाउट एम टेक एंड इन द कॉमेंट्स आई फाउंड अ कॉमेंट दैट हाउ कैन आई यूज my iit mtech tag to get jobs and to secure my fee, uh, future so there i replied that nowadays skills are far more important than tech so then he replied that i know this but still i want to know that how can i use this iit tag the most so i will answer this this particular question in this video that is degree versus tech now before answering this let me uh, clear uh, some things okay the first thing is what i will tell you is very obvious that you will say that okay i know this but you know the fact is that in your subconscious mind someone is telling you now you are an iitian and you are entitled to a job which is a uh, shit which is totally wrong okay if you surf through past few years data then you will come to know that uh forget about mtech even if you are an iit btech then also your job is not guaranteed okay either unless until you are working really hard because the competition is at that level and there are scenarios when iit btechs are also not getting job so iit mtechs are not bad i am not saying that that he, that he, uh, i mean if you are an iit mtech you, you are uh lesser than we take no this is not the case but you have to accept the reality now associated with this the second feature of this video is people always comment some people not all they comment that this guy is demotivating all of us yes i am demotivating you but am i really demotivating you or am i telling you the truth see you have two options either you uh i mean either you listen to those who are constantly telling you ki iit mtech bahut badhiya hai sab acha hai see everything in your life will have two sides one is good one is wrong so you have two options either you see only one side and decide i am not saying that he that iit mtech is so very bad no in this video i will cover both the good and bad sides uh, regarding the job and your iit mtech degree okay but now the option is for you either you uh, listen to only those good things those dream things that you are now an iit and you will get a job or you listen to this true demotivation based on which you can take your own decision to use your iit tag the best possible way now without any delay i will start this video i think that you can see my screen so here degree versus skill now joining mtech how to use the tech this is a common misconception that i have already told you okay and now what is the reason of this common misconception that that will be clear in this video right now so first of all i will tell you something very uh, i mean positive about being in iit as an mtech this is not about btech guys and this is not about someone who wants higher studies because in the previous video i have already described you that higher study is very i mean you will have a very good opportunity regarding the higher studies in iits but what is the benefits of being in iit if you want a job first of all a lot of companies come okay so this is the main benefit because if i mean you see that Uh, people say that i am from a tier 3 college so in the tier 3 college some selected companies will come and they also will not offer a very high package but in iit a lot of companies will come this is the first benefit of being an iitian and this is the benefit of the iit tag because you are an iitian they will come to see you okay second is a lot of awareness and competitive mindset so in iit you will see that there are so many students talking about good courses good skills that you do require to crack that job interview so these things are absent in tier 3 colleges okay so there you will only hear about the things that is uh, a bit of mediocre see these kind of words are very harsh i know but these are true okay this awareness and this healthy competition now this healthy competition is again very hard to find but if you can set a group okay you can if you can set a group from the btech guys from mtech guys who are serious then you will have a very good uh, awareness that okay i should do this course i should do that course 
to enhance my skills okay and believe me btechs are very good here i i have very good btech friends uh in iit kharagpur okay so now sorry about that now the third is exposure and faculty support so here obviously this exposure thing is connected with the awareness right awareness and competitive mind is that you will get a very good exposure there will be so many courses offered by tcs offered by so many organizations you will get the notification of those courses you have to avail those according to your desire and this faculty support so there are faculties who has a large amount of experience in industry you can talk to them ki sir i want to get this kind of a job then what should i be so according to that uh, he will tell you something that go about this skills learn this thing maybe you have to learn some software so these things you can get into iit okay these things you can get in iit very good faculty support okay now good courses again to get a job obviously if you are an mtech if you are a mtech not an ye an or so if you are a mtech then either you are applying for something like an rmd position the research and development position so if you are applying for that companies like slumberger okay so if you are applying from mechanical or maybe something other like a core branch then uh, slumberger is a very good company so if you are uh applying for that they will ask you very in depth question from cfd if you are from thermal and uh, thermal engineering and if you are from uh, maybe mechanical design they will ask uh, you from something like a control system or fea but the things will be very deep it will be as deep like a bark interview okay the things will be very deep so a good academic course is required other than that there are side courses side courses means uh let's say that you are a uh, you are a mechanical guy and you want to switch into something like an ai or you want to write that you know some ai in your cv now if you are writing ai in your cv and you are just uh you are just happy with that i know how to operate chat gpt that will not do the things so you have to understand that you have to know the actual mathematics behind ai the statistics the probability the concepts at least a few concepts that i know some ai although i am although i am a mechanical guy now for that they offer some courses so here there is a course like tcs and iit kharagpur they collaboratively offer some course okay so these courses you can get here now i have talked about the good things but what are the bad things the first thing is that why being an mtech is always criticized i have also found this comment that i am iit mtech but uh, but is it the fact that btechs are always good no first of all that is not the fact in my uh, batch only okay from thermal and from design okay uh, people got very good job people got very good job yes they were struggling first to get some jobs but after onwards almost all the people got good jobs okay now the preconceived notion of je is is greater than get see i have crack get but honestly i myself believe that from the point of view of concept je is a bit je advanced not means je advanced is greater than almost all the examinations in india okay almost so this this notion is not actually a bit of wrong okay and that is why they think that btech must be greater than mtech but i think that this is wrong okay i mean these examinations are true but that does not mean that that a guy who is joining as mtech he he or she will be uh, lesser than any btech student okay that is not true but this is a preconceived notion that i found out everyone found that if a uh, btech is applying and some mtech is applying and if both of them are having same knowledge same skill sets then obviously a person will choose a btech but here another catch is there that the company is hired with a mindset that i am hiring this guy so i should not i mean it should not be the case that this guy is uh 
I mean, leaving the company just after joining, just after two or three months after joining. Okay, so this should not be the case. So you have to, I mean, if so, based on this point of view, being an MTech can be something like uh, something like an advantage. If they see that they, that yes, you are looking to be loyal, you will not leave the company, and because of this, some companies do prefer NITs more than IITs because they have seen that if I recruit an IITian, then he or she will leave this company after two or three years maybe. But if I hire an NITian, then he or she will not leave at least for 10 years. Okay. Now, very less skill development. This is another downside of being an MTech. So again, I have seen, so again, I should tell the point three also which is associated with this, that overlying, over relying on IIT tag and not skills. So I have seen in this, in my MT friends. So they first come and then they try to enjoy the fact that now I am an IIT. Okay. And, and after that, when the classes are being started, then they are like, that what are these? Because if you don't have fundamentals, you will really struggle here with the academics. Okay. But, in the B.Tech guys, I have seen that from the second or third year onwards, they are like, I have to get a job. Obviously, there are few students who want to get into higher studies, but most of the students who want to get into a job, they are like, I have to get into a job. So by hook or crook, I have to acquire the skills which I require. They are expert to forget that this IIT tab will give them a job because they are now being aware that okay, I am in IIT Kharagpur, but there are a, a, a there are a lot of students in IIT Kharagpur who are competing with me. So it is very, I mean, uh, it is not very good, but it is necessary that you should forget that you are now an IIT and, and that pride. You should not have that pride, and please try to work from the day one. So these things may sound very obvious, but believe me, when you come into IIT, then you start feeling that I am IITian and in that, in, I mean, it, that thought in your subconscious mind will tell you, okay, don't do that much hard work, take a chill pill, enjoy the IIT campus and all those things, don't study that much hard and you will start studying just before the placement season will begin. Begin? Begin. Okay. So. These things you have to take care that don't fall into that comfort zone of being an IITian. This is a common thing that MTech guys do. Okay. Now, irrelevant projects and no goal in mind. Okay. So, you have to take some MTech thesis or some MTech projects or some internships in IIT. For that, you have to choose your guide or supervisor. Now, one very common criteria. I mean, one very common criterion is that that supervisor should be a very good human and he should not uh, pressurize us and he always should support us. Now, all these things are very good. This, these should be the uh, criteria for choosing supervisor, but this should not be the sole criteria, right? So, when you are choosing, first, he, Obviously, you should choose that how, I mean, you should see that how the human is, how he is as human being. But after that, and with the same weightage, you should judge that which project he or she will offer me, which project that, that uh, professor will offer me. Because if you want to go into aerospace uh, industry or, or aerospace sector, then you have to align your internship or maybe your project with at least something like a gas turbine or something like a structure design, something like a material science or like these things. But if only you are studying like a, uh, I mean, what will be the thermal effect of a droplet jet, okay, uh, droplet, droplet, I mean, impact, okay, maybe some non-Newtonian fluid droplet you are studying. So, these are good, but Oh, these are good in, I mean, in the job interviews only if you can explain that what this project has uh, to offer the industry, okay? Because you are an engineer, you are not a physicist student, okay? So, you must 
have some experience in doing something which can be i mean which can be sold okay so if you cannot sell your thing you are not an engineer okay so your your uh, projects should have some engineering significance so based on these i have heard from my friends that in the interviews they are listening that okay you have done this project but, but this project does not have any significance in terms of industry okay so that is why now they are stuck despite being good students now they are stuck okay so choose the projects very judiciously and that should align with your goal it should be i mean uh, it is okay that if you want to apply for multiple companies maybe an automobile company maybe a thermal or plan that is perfectly fine but whatever you are choosing that should be having an engineering significance that is a must okay because to them you are not a physicist but an engineer okay now what are the solutions so now from this point of view the solutions are that don't do these things the so point two point three and point four these are always the solutions but very obvious solutions i will just uh, repeat that talk to seniors as well as the BTEC guys for relevant skill development. Okay. Don't think that I will start from this and this, and please come out from that pride that I am now an IIT. This will de destroy your life. This can destroy your life. Okay. And focus on your soft skills. A soft skill means enrollment, sorry, enrollment in the corresponding courses. Soft skill means the communication, management. Maybe you are good at management, that will boost your CV. Now, if you are good at, at management, you should show them some proof that I have, uh, I have taken a managerial position, I have taken this position, I have managed this, I have done that. The, so, there should be some proof. Okay, and take relevant projects. These are also very important. Now, uh, again, the last thing is the bitter truth, no 100% guarantee. So now again, I know that after, after this video as well, people will jump up into my comment box and they will say that again, this guy is demotivating, but yes, I will demotivate you with the true things. I will not give you the false hope that okay, IIT there are students, good students who, who still not got any job. Okay, but there are students who are not academically that much good, but they are having a job. So you have to learn relevant skills. You have to talk with your seniors who are good at placements. You have to talk with your BTEC friends, your MTEC friends who are serious. And most importantly, start working from the day one. You don't have to study and work for hours and hours a day. You just Study for half an hour a day for the placement that is perfectly fine, but do it, do it consistently. So what people do is they start studying just at the uh, beginning of the placement season and they now find that I don't have that much time and they now are studying for a whole night. But believe me, when you have that much pressure in, uh, in your mind, you will be not able to uh, grasp the concepts very easily. So start slow, but be steady. That is the key for all these things. I hope that this video has helped you in some or the other way. Uh, believe me, I'm not trying to tell that MTech is, uh, MTech doesn't worth it or, or MTech is a bad degree or, or I mean, MTechs are very, very poor than BTech in terms of academics and knowledge. No, I am an MTech. I am an IIT MTech. So why would I uh, belittle myself? Okay, right? So that is why you have to understand that that is not the thing, but you have to be aware with the truth and you have to work accordingly. So if you think that this guy is trying to do something for you, then please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends who are currently joining, joining into IIT MPEX. And until the next video, goodbye, take care and thank you.